I really hate to see what Glenn Youngkin is trying to do to Virginia, what Donald Trump did our country. I really hate to see the division, the hatred. We're putting these children in this horrible position. Let's, let's just be clear. We don't teach critical race theory. This is a made up. This is a Trump, Betsy DeVos, uh, Glenn Youngkin plan to divide people. Virginia gubernatorial candidate Terry McAuliffe dismissing concerns about critical race theory, but Judicial Watch obtaining an official training document from a whistleblower in the Westerly School District of Rhode Island that lays out exactly how they teach CRT in schools. Take a look. The training course claims that there are unfortunate truths about the history of Rhode Island and the United States. It also notes that there is systemic inequity that must be overcome in the school system. And the course instructs teachers to ask themselves, how do I challenge systemic inequity as an educator? And the training course also links to a video called Systemic Racism Explained from ACT TV. That's a far left YouTube channel. Joining us now to discuss is President of Judicial Watch, Tom Fenton. Tom, thank you very much for joining us. So you received, what, this 53-page training document. It's not called CRT, but it has a lot of CRT in it. Yeah, it's a, a whistleblower gave it to us, mm -hmm. and uh, it demonstrates how you don't need to say the words critical race theory to promote a racist Marxist agenda uh, that's inappropriate for school children and certainly inappropriate for public school teachers to be uh, 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 brainwashed in this regard as well. When you look at the materials, it's pretty clear they want to turn teachers into political actors, to turn children into Marxist agitators, to change the systemic inequity uh, that's alleged in the materials. It's, uh, it, you know, and, and they use terms like emphasizing collectivism over individualism. Mm -hmm. I mean, so if you didn't think there was Marxist dog whistles there, I don't know what you'd conclude after seeing something like that in a document you being used to train public school teachers. Yeah, and then it also talks about something that stood out to me, cognitive development based on leveraging students' identities and interests. Uh, also, critical consciousness, where the goal is that students are motivated to critical action so they can then transform lives. Yeah, that's critical theory. That's yeah. Marxist theory in a nutshell. And it's an abuse of children. When you're trying to get personal information from them, get them to identify themselves according to certain categories, and then misuse that personal information in a way to leverage them to be political actors uh, as part of the revolution. I don't know how else to put it. You, you know, and, and to see politicians like Terry McCullough or anyone else pretend it isn't happening when it is the heart and soul of the modern left in their approach to virtually every public policy issue. And if they want to fight that on housing policy or voting policy, adults can battle back and forth, right? Mm -hmm. We can debate this issue. But when they try to slide it in and abuse our children with this communism, that's why parents get upset. And frankly, the Justice Department ought to be targeting this type of activity as opposed to targeting parents who are objecting to it. Uh, yeah. We live in terrible trying times, I tell you. Tom, and I want your response to that because um, I'm seeing these reports coming out today that the Loudoun County parent who perhaps was one of the first to come forward uh, at a, a contentious school board meeting, and perhaps that was the jumping off point for the DOJ to now try to classify parents who speak out as school board members as domestic terrorists. Well, we're finding out today that that parent from Loudoun County was initially incredibly upset because his daughter had been sexually assaulted in a bathroom there in Loudoun County by a student um, who was a male student, but was using the female bathroom as a transgender. Well, which is, of course, what many folks fear when mm -hmm. you eliminate the traditional privacy protections afforded little girls and little boys. And I'm sure the FBI, under Chris Ray and Garland and Biden, will be right on this to protect the civil rights of that child. But we know where this is going. This is, uh, this is an agenda to target uh, the rights of parents and the innocence of children, uh, to uh, politicize them and sexualize them in ways that parents object to, uh, and, and they're gonna try to roll right over the objections of parents and the objections of citizens uh, in this totalitarian 
uh, agenda that they're pursuing. Yeah. All right. Well, understandable how that father would be so incredibly upset regarding that if his daughter was raped in a bathroom at a school there in Loudoun County. Uh, Tom Fitton, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.